Sam Allen here with PGC Coaching, and we're going to take a look at Division II Women's National Champion, Ashland University, 37-0. And when I turn on the tape to study their film, man, did three things jump out at me right away within minutes of watching them. That's one is their simplicity. They are really simple, but they're so good at executing the simple, or what I like to say, that master the boring. The second thing, they're so deliberate in feeding the post both in their post-ups and in how they post. So we're going to take a look at that as well. And the third thing is they have great discipline and great patience in what they do. So let's roll the tape and take a look at what we see. So here's Ashton playing in the national championship game. And these first clips, these are transition clips we're going to look at. Then we'll get into some half-court offensive stuff and do a really good job of just pushing the ball running their lanes they have your traditional rim runner they they fill the wings or the corners looking to kick ahead for transition threes if that's there again this is a late game where minnesota duluth is having to force tempo and pressure a little bit and ashland is finding transition threes final four game right here different game and again, this is something that's been done in the game for a long time, rim runners. Some people have gotten away from this in today's game. They want to open up the floor for driving lanes. But right here, if you can have a point guard who pushes with their head up and a, and a post player or a player who's committed to really sprinting the floor, then you can get these rim run finishes, even against good teams. This is a team that won 33-2 and two that they're doing it against. We're just going to keep it rolling here. And again, this is not the bottom of the league team they're doing it against. This is a 33 win season, uh, 30 win, excuse me, this is a 33 win team. Again, great two on one situation here. Let's just highlight that for a second. This is something we talk about at PGC. Oftentimes, the face high pass, not the bounce pass, is the best pass in two on one advantage situations. And here it's an easy catch, easy finish. Again, great job of just running the floor, filling lanes, keeping your head up. That one more pass, you get the defense to gravitate toward the ball and it just sometimes takes that one more and you get a wide open look like you see here yeah another transition clip here notice the rim runner they get their eyes to the ball really well so right here immediately this player is peeking at the rim upon hands touching leather, you have your wings getting out wide, you have your first post player rim running, your second post player here kind of even with the ball, and that rim runner gets her head on the swivel, delivers an on time, on target pass with the right touch. All right, now we're going to get into the clips of half-court execution. And one thing that you're going to notice, well, let's go ahead and talk about a few things we're going to notice in the next several clips, is just their, what I say, deliberateness in getting the ball into the post. And so it takes two to tango in terms of post success. It takes a good post feed game. You have players that know how to feed the post. You're going to see that time and time again with Ashton. And then that you have post players who understand how to post up, how to hold seals, how to use their body, create space, create angles for the pass. You're going to see that on display right here. An excellent, excellent job right here of Ashland just shown here. We feed the post. There's no double coming. There's no rush. She's patient right here. Defenders kind of digging, kind of giving the illusion, but they're staying space. I mean, the spacing is not great over here on the weak side. You'd love to see this player slide down into this wing area, maybe create her defender to go with her or create an open kick out. But Ashton has few post players that can really score it in here. Just crab dribble to the middle, step through, finish. Again, we're going to look at several half-court clips here. 
And look at this post player just really digging in. Look, catches it, patient, crab dribble, good footwork, patient, steps through, waits till she has the opening. Again, right here, I want you to notice her really digging in, getting a wide base right here. 42 is just really climbing the lane. Boom, she's digging in. That defender's really working. The defense is trying to play good defense. She holds her spot. Pretty good job not reaching, not being undisciplined. Just a good offensive move. Here we are again, Ashlyn coming down their half court set. It's a four out one in look is what they really get into consistently. Love the patience here on the post up. Love it. Again, you got your four out one in. She catches. Most post players start dribbling right away. She's gonna establish herself. She's a little off balance on the catch. She establishes herself, gets her balance underneath her, sees the floor, sees the rest of the defenders, and then she goes into operation with her crab dribble, little drop step, kiss off the glass. No rust, just nice patience there in the post. 